Hey, hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super happy and excited to see all of you today. Now I have a very, very fun and informative video for you all, especially if you are a new reseller or maybe you're thinking about starting a reselling business. Now a lot of this stuff can also apply to existing resellers and business owners. This is completely transparent information that can apply across the board, especially if you are new to the reselling business. Now, before I jump into tip number one, I just wanna preface this with saying, I am speaking through my five years of experience as a reseller in my journey in growing and building a six figure reselling business. There are different thoughts and methods in this industry about how to do things the right way or the wrong way to do things. And well, I'm not really of the belief that that's the case. I don't think there's any cut and dry way to do anything. I think we all have to learn through experience and successes and failures. And even if that's not the case, I ultimately believe that that is the best way to learn. So again, this is from my perspective, from me running and owning a full-time online reselling business for the past five years. I also want to say, make sure you stay for tip number three, because if you are a new reseller, this really could be the tip that can make or break your business. So definitely it's crucial, make sure you stay for that one. So tip number one, it's very simple. Do not let whatever platform you choose to resell on define your business. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let me paint a picture for you. See, I think what happens a lot of time as new resellers, maybe we start selling on the Poshmark app and you know we get some stuff listed and we have a few sales, but you know, our business isn't quite where we want it to be. And then we see a YouTube video about someone having a ton of success over on the eBay app. And then you jump ship, go from Poshmark to eBay, you break that momentum you had on Poshmark and you have to learn a whole new platform in eBay. And you kind of reset your business thinking that eBay is going to be the key to your success. However, I do not believe any platform is the key to your business's success. See, at the end of the day, I like to think of myself as a business owner and not a reseller. I mean, yes, reselling is what I do, but I am a business owner and I treat it like a business. And I believe my business can thrive on whatever platform I choose it to do so on. Now, yes, before you get up in arms and tell me that eBay is the best platform to resell on because it has the most active users or Macari is because it's the easiest to list and ship or Poshmark is because it's primarily about clothes and you like to resell clothes. I understand all that and you are completely just in saying that. Every platform has their positives and their negatives. I'm just of the belief that you should pick one, become an expert at it, double down on it and grow your business as big as you can on it before you jump around and try different platforms. I learned this the hard way. For my first two years of reselling, I was running around trying out a whole bunch of different platforms thinking that one was going to be the key to my success. I did have to figure it out the hard way that I had to treat my business like a business no matter what platform I resold on. And to sum up this tip, all you really need to know, whether it be eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook, Craigslist, it doesn't matter. Every single one of those platforms has people who have built million dollar businesses on them. But that isn't truth in itself that the platform you choose to sell on doesn't define your business. I'm sorry, then I don't know what is. Okay, so that was tip number one. Now tip number two is kind of a more technical, kind of old school business plan type of tip. And that is you have to understand your business's formula. But what do I mean by that? Well, it's kind of as simple as it sounds. You have to break your business down and figure out what makes your business tick and turn that into a formula in order to scale your business. For my business, it's as simple as I buy a piece of inventory for X amount of dollars. If I buy it for that amount of money, then I can plan on reselling it for X amount of dollars and I can plan to profit for X amount of dollars. See, my business is as simple as that. If you are a new reseller or you haven't started your reselling business, it could be hard to figure out a formula for your business. I would recommend just going out, getting some inventory, buying whatever you can afford and what's ever available and try to sell it slowly and slowly as you start racking up sales, you will see what you're good at selling, you know, what you're good at marketing, what you're good at sourcing. And when you take a step back from your business and look at it and it's entirely the formula will present itself. See, at the end of the day, I know what items I'm good at sourcing, what items I'm good at selling, and I know what I need to buy them for in order to sell them for this, in order to profit this. It's really that simple, and it's your business's formula. Okay, but before I get into the most crucial tip of today's video, tip number 
three. I just want to extend a warm thank you to everybody who has been supporting the channel so far. You guys are literally the best. I'm reading through all the comments and, and, and the criticism and the feedback you guys put on my videos, whether good or bad. I just, it doesn't matter. I love it all. And I cannot appreciate all the the subs as of late and the, the likes and just everybody being so awesome. This is really a cool, cool community we're building here on YouTube. And I'm I'm just getting started. It's been really, really a ton of fun making videos for you guys. So I will say it one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, I cannot appreciate all the subs and the likes and the comments. We really are building a really cool community here on YouTube and I'm not slowing down anytime soon. As a matter of fact, I'm just getting started. Okay, now on to the most crucial tip of today's video, especially if you are a new reseller or you just started a reselling business and it is do not keep track of how much time you are investing into your business. Now, I know that sounds completely illogical and irrational. You know, I know if you're a logical person, you're thinking, I should be tracking this. I got to see how much my time is worth when I, you know, conduct my business. But I am telling you from experience, you know, if you do that, you will see you're probably not making a whole lot of money per hour of work. And it'll really, really deter you from keeping on with the whole reselling thing and trying to grow your business. Now I am totally speaking from experience. If I were to look back at my first few years of reselling, I was literally making almost no money. I had tons of weeks where I would work 60, 70 hours a week and I would make what? 30, 40 bucks, sometimes no money, you know, I was like literally making zero dollars an hour working on my business, which, which can be really discerning and you can start to lose hope really, really quick and you can want to, well, give up. And I think this is very important because a lot of people who come into this industry are trying to replace a current wage or job that they already have. For sake of example, let's say you have a current job where you get paid 20 dollars per hour. Your $20 an hour job can become very, very appetizing once you've looked back at your first six months of reselling and realize you only make what, $2 an hour, $3 an hour. That isn't a recipe for stopping your reselling business in its tracks and jumping back to your old job. Well, I don't know what is. I do not think this is an industry to get into if you're trying to replace a current full-time income. At least don't get into it with the expectations of doing it very fast. If you're willing to put your head down and work for a couple years and keep on reinvesting your profits, I totally think you can replace any income out there. But you have to understand you're not going to make a ton of money in the process of doing that, in my opinion. And honestly, if you're trying to replace a full-time income already, you might have to work a full-time job in order to supplement your reselling business until hopefully one day it can take over your full-time income. Now, I know that is not what a lot of people want to hear, and I'm sorry, but that's just life and that's just this industry. If you wanna build a successful reselling business, you have to give it time and you have to let it breathe and grow and you have to invest your time and your profits in order to do that. Before getting into this industry, just realize that you are investing your time into the future, you know, with the hopes of one day providing an income that will be greater than what you sacrificed now. So if you wanna take this seriously and put your head down and work hard, trust me, great things can come out of it. But do not keep track of how many hours you are putting in, especially at the beginning, because once you see how much money you're making per hour, especially in the early stages of your business, it's really going to deter you from wanting to keep growing your business and hopefully turning it into something special one day. All right, so there we go. Those are my three practical tips that every new reseller needs to know. Hope you found this video entertaining and informational, and that's ultimately my goal. I'm trying to preach entrepreneurship through the lens of my reselling business. So I cannot thank you guys enough for making it to this point in the video. You guys are the best. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And in the meantime, be good to one another, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.